Hey guys, so today we are going to see that how can you implement surface control symbol in SOLIDWORKS. So the surface control symbol, they are used to indicate like a uh, surface finishing or roughness or they are used to specify the manufacturing process. So how to do that? Let's see. So you, you need to go to select this drawing option in the SOLIDWORKS and then you need to select a drawing file you need to put uh, you need to take a part file here so let's choose this P ANSI landscape and um, now go to view layout go to model view click on browse and browse any uh, and browse the part file on which you want to uh, do this uh, surface finish like you want to add the surface finish symbol so let's open something which I already made it let's open this file let's mm, say this one and I am going for top view Where is, uh, this is the top view place it like this and click on ok so i am just going to give the surface um, control symbols on this drawing so how to do that for that you need to go to annotation here you can see surface finish click on this if you click on surface finish option you will get this dialog box on the left side now here this is the leader option here which um, for which you can see what arrow you can use so you can choose that option from there first of all let's see you're going to use the simple one okay now as you can see here if you drag your mouse you can see the symbol option here this is the basic symbol this is the machine required symbol and machining prohibited symbol then you have a gis basic symbol gis machining required you have gis machining prohibited you have local and you have all around so let's do the first thing we are going to add a surface control symbol like the surface finish so for that we have selected the basic symbol and uh, basic symbol has been selected and now you can see you can get this type of arrows arrow here where you can put the values so we have to enter a value which ever you want so like as you can see here if if, you, if i want this surface and i will move it like some like this and for value you can enter let's say 30 so click on this enter value 30 you want it on this side you can put it here like 32 like this you can also put under according to the um, required properties for the surface finish so we have just uh, shown the smoothness also you can say the roughness for this surface so I am going to just show the surface roughness so which is given by 32 click on this tick mark so you have seen that you got this 32 as a surface uh, roughness for this one now let's see how can you add a lay symbol for this drawing so again you need to go to surface finish here you need to select this machine required symbol okay if you uncheck this you can get the um, all around if you check this you can get the local okay so now here to get the lay symbol what you need to do um, there is an option here you can see that parallel perpendicular radial so you we are going for multi-directional select the multi-directional and as you can see you are getting this M number like the M symbol for multi-directional value so selecting on this and you can see like this you can make it you can put it over here something like this so 
or for this you can select this and you can make it like this so now you can click you can put the value whatever value you want for multi direction uh, multi directional let's say 12 so select this and give the value of let's say 12 over there and click on this one so you can drag this like this you can also drag this for this also and for this you can also see that you you can get parallel for this if you select like see this one go to surface finish we have selected the basic uh, parallel and now as you can see just place this like this and you can also drag like this for the surface you can give value the surface finish for this in this way so you can in this way you can add uh, pretty much all uh, like a, a bunch like a bunch of um, sim, uh, uh, surface control symbols for any drawing so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe wise man for more such videos thank you